Well, Jamie, this carcass looks like it's about to fall, but Asana is holding on to it. With, you can just see the power in those claws, holding on to it with both feet there. It's hanging on by a probably, oh, it was hanging on. <laughs> it was hanging on. Oh, Mum nearly got hit by uh, the last leg there. Now Mum is also quite concerned that that drop to the ground will attract any predators like hyena particularly in weight. And look, she's taking it back up. Look at that, look at that. Quick, 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 quick. Here comes the hyena. Oh, she's dropped it. She's dropped it. There he was. He's waited patiently. He's waited patiently. Uh-oh, the other cub is around there. He has waited patiently for that to drop. And you saw that chain of events happening there, folks. We could not have come back at a better time. Hats off to everyone in final control there for the <laughs> intuition you had there and Jamie to just come back at perfect time because it was hanging on by a thread. Little Osana couldn't hold on any longer, took one more bite, it dropped to the ground. Mum jumped up, grabbed it, tried to get it back up the tree for Osana because the sound of that drop was going to trigger that come down and grab that meal mechanism in that hyena. Completely, perfectly done. And listen to that. Listen to that crunching through those bones. Now, we've got another story unfolding. This is brilliant. I do need to reposition for VM just to have one little better look here at what's going on. How's that for you, mate? Not, very, not much better, is it? You see the hyena down there? Okay. Hello, hello. Wow. That was a fantastic little sequence of events there. And luckily, our, uh, our family of leopard are okay. But... A hyena who has been waiting patiently. I knew. I thought it was just odd that that hyena had disappeared, but of course, until that hyena heard that noise hit the ground, it's just been waiting up there, waiting, waiting, avoiding the conflict, and now has won the spoils of that the last part of the carcass. And you can hear the incredible crushing through those incredible bones. Brilliant. Absolutely amazing. So there are loads of statistics about uh, the bite, the power of the bite of a, of a hyena. But let me tell you, without going into all the pounds per square inch, because that doesn't mean an immense amount to a lot of people, um, supposedly only one animal in Africa that's got a stronger bite, and that is the Nile crocodile. So you can imagine the immense power. You can just hear how this, it's like, just crushing those bones like pretzels. I'll just try and get a better sp spot for you, VM. One more little step back, I think, mate. And you're going to get a better shot there or not? Yep. A little bit better shot there. It's still got some little bits of vegetation in front of it. You can see how that hyena is just motoring through, stripping any remnants of soft tissue. It's a bit tricky to get our cats 
I wonder if I go around there, VM, you'll get the cats and the hyena. Yeah, okay.